All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Hermes Interplanetary Spacecraft, which is being made by forum users XX Handsome XX, as well as user Orbital Escape. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is all of the parts that you need to construct your own Hermes spacecraft from the movie The Martian. And considering how much I love that freaking movie, oh, this mod makes me so happy. And I would like to thank the commenters out there who did point this mod out to me. I had completely missed this thing. So, so thank you very much for showing it to me. And let's actually head into the space plane hangar. Now, of course, whenever you build your own Hermes, you'll probably launch it from rockets, the VAB. But I find with the size of some of these parts, it's a little bit easier to look at them here in the space plane hangar. So let us start where probably is the most important part of any spacecraft, the cockpit. So here we have the Hermes cockpit, and this thing is massive. If we just grab one of the Mark I cockpits here real quick, look at that. It's the size of one of those cupolas right there. <laughs> so this thing is freaking massive and absolutely gorgeous on the modeling and the texturing. I really love that they decided to go more stock alike with the texturing rather than trying to be realistic to the movie as some mod makers like to do. I very much prefer stock alike because, well, that means you can mix and match these parts with existing parts to make your own things. Now, of course, this cockpit is, well, huge. Minimum of one crew can hold up to six. It does, of course, have its own built-in RCS system, reaction wheel with quite a bit of torque, a quite a large battery at 500, and a monopropellant tank that holds 100, and overall, just a very good very large cockpit with multiple attachment points. If we grab that Mark 1 cockpit again, you can see we have an attachment point there on the nose, one here on the back, as well as a crew hatch down here. So if you need to uh, send out any of your Kerbals on a spacewalk, it is quite convenient. Now, of course, we also do have the Mars descent vehicle in here as well. And if we pop that onto there, right on the nose, there we go. Again, a beautifully modeled and textured little uh, descent capsule. It has its own built-in engines as well as its own built-in landing legs, which let's uh, pop it on the back so you can see that. There we go, there's its stubby little legs. And uh, yes, it has its own uh, nice electric charge of 250, monopropellant of 75 with its own RCS engines, and also holds 90 liquid fuel and 110 oxidizer. And overall, does hold six crew, a minimum of one crew capacity, and has powerful enough engines so that it should be able to land on the surface of Duna with no problems and no parachutes, which is quite cool. So the uh, thrust on these atmospheric is 32.667 kilonewtons. Thrust vacuum is 35 kilonewtons. Engine ISP is at 280 atmosphere, 300 vacuum, and it consumes 1.07 per second liquid fuel and 1.309 per second on the oxidizer. Overall, pretty darn good and does also have its own electrical generator built in. Quite a good little capsule overall and perfect for sending your crew down to the surface of Duna, which of course is our game's lovely analog of Mars. So everything for this is really meant to head to Duna properly, which is quite cool. Now let's chuck this thing away for now. We'll actually keep it out because there is another part we'll need for it later, so I'll just throw it around there. Now there is nothing in fuel tanks because surprisingly the fuel tank for this mod is down here in utility so we'll get there in a second. Now in engines on the other hand we do have this the Hermes engine, which is beautiful. I want to use this on so many of my own ships in the future. It is a xenon-powered electric engine, and it has a max thrust in atmosphere of 225 kilonewtons, in vacuum of 450, engine ISP of 10,000 atmosphere and 20,000 vacuum, and consumes 206.5 electric charge per second and 22.9 nine four xenon gas per second so this thing is a beast and so it is with the size as well oh my god look at this thing let's get it attached there we go and just 
zoom out at this baby. It's just gigantic, and I love it. It's just so beautiful. Again, very well modeled, very well textured. Not quite stock alike, but I think that's more of just the uh, the nature of the engine to me. It doesn't look very stock, but it's it's quite close. And actually, on that note, I should point out that this is still a very much in development mod, and really nothing set on this thing yet. Uh, for instance, both this. Uh, Hermes cockpit as well as the landing capsule do not yet have interiors. They're currently using the interior of the uh, Mark 1-2 command pod. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this mod that's not quite finished yet, but it's getting pretty darn close, I'd say, with how everything's looking right now. But yes, glorious, beautiful engine, and the only thing in this tab. Now we've got nothing in command, nothing in structural, which I was surprised by. Again, all the structural parts are in utility. But in aerodynamics, let's go back to the front where we have the capsule. We do have the Mars Descent Vehicle Heat Shield right here. So if we flip this baby around, there we go, pop it on. So now we've got a nice rounded, smooth heat shield on our landing capsule. And it is its own decoupler, so once you decide to leave the planet, you can leave the heavy heat shield behind and, you know, hopefully make it back up into space. I have yet to be able to get this thing back into space. I've been able to land on Duna, but I don't know if it actually has enough fuel to take back off again. That may, that may be the point of it uh, on this, but... Eh, we'll see. Maybe in the future someone can fly it up there, or maybe give it more fuel. But yes, the heat shield will decouple quite nicely, and overall it's just a quite a lovely little heat shield piece. I do enjoy it. Now, the vast majority of parts for this mod are here in Utility, where you will see all of these things right in here. Let's chuck the engine, because we're going to need the space. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the Hermes comms module. It really has no purpose, except for being a really cool structural part, if we zoom in there. Again, a very cool texturing, very cool modeling. And if you notice, when you click this, the texture right there says LOL. <laughs> I like that. Once you actually click it into place, it, you can't see it anymore, but eh, that's cool. I've never seen a texturing do that before. Very nice little Easter egg, I guess, from the mod makers. But yeah, it's just a cool little piece, uh, structural. Hopefully one day it'll have a proper comms purpose, uh, but for now, purely decorative, really. Uh, the next piece we have is the crew module. Again, purely cosmetic. It has no actual use for the crew, uh, but... Again, hopefully in the future it will. But for now, just a very nicely built part. I do quite enjoy it. And the next, we're actually going to have to zoom out a little bit for this one, is... Oh, actually, no, never mind. We're good, we're good. I thought it was a little bit bigger. This is the Hermes docking hub and airlock, which is quite cool. So you can add uh, little docking ports onto each of these sides. Very nice. Again, very beautifully modeled. Very beautifully textured. Quite Cool. Now the next, actually let's keep that on for the next piece because we have the Hermes docking port ring. So boom, we can plop that on there. And with this, this is really meant to, to be between sections like so. If it was actually attached, let's get get it. Is it is it attached? There we go, beautiful. So that this will help you connect your pieces from or up in lower Kerbin orbit. Because uh, the whole point of this mod, of course, you're never going to be able to launch this entire Hermes craft into space in one shot. So everything is designed with these Hermes docking ports in mind, with uh, quite a good little connection force to them and a good docking node range, etc. So that you can construct them in orbit uh, one trip after another with rockets using these rings which is quite cool i like it now the next part is the hermes electrical module which holds a very very large battery at 4000 electric charge uh not the most nicely of textured parts but i do love the modeling and again hopefully that texture will improve over time because once more 
still in development, but overall a very, very cool piece. Uh, the next one we have is the Hermes Fusion Reactor, which, oh uh, boy, produces quite a bit of electrical charge at 100 per second, which is not quite enough to run that engine, but that's why, I'm going to skip ahead slightly, we have the Hermes Solar Panels as well, and these things, they collect quite a bit of electrical charge at 50 per second, and if we extend, boom. Again, like with most of the parts in this thing, freaking huge. You gotta love it. Now, backtracking a little, we then have just a Hermes front spacer, which is purely a structural piece. Again, quite cool. Now, that's meant to go on the front of this thing, and then you attach the, uh, what's, oh god, the, the, the descent vehicle, that thing, to this, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> now, here is that fuel tank I was mentioning earlier. This is the gigantic Hermes fuel tank. I love the look of this thing. It is just gorgeous. And it holds a 1500 monopropellant and 30,000 xenon gas, which of course you will need for that gigantic engine in this mod. And it's just overall beautiful. I really love the look and design of this whole thing. It is quite cool. Now the next is probably one of the, the, well actually, probably the coolest bit, and that's the spinning ring. It's gorgeous, and it does rotate, though not properly in here, because of course we're in the space plane hangar. Let's chuck that away, <laughs> reset, there we go. It, it, it actually spins quite nicely when you're out in the real world, uh, but sadly for now, again, like with many of these parts, not a whole lot of use. I mean, this does actually have a reaction wheel to it, but there's no like extra crew space or anything like that, no interior views, which I would like to see. But again, hopefully that will come in the future. And overall, just such a cool part with how it rotates. Now the next is the Hermes hub, and this is just a large uh, hub piece. Very, very cool texturing on this thing. I think that's one of my favorite texturing of any hub I've seen. Very cool, and just a multi-directional hub for building your ships. We then have the Hermes RCS module, which is just a giant RCS engine with lots and lots of little RCS thrusters all around. Very, very cool and perfect for moving such a gigantic ship. Uh, we already went over the solar panel. The next is the truss segment. Uh, just another structural bit to the craft, which with no other real purpose. Uh, there we go. And then the Hermes utility module. Again, no real purpose, but is quite cool looking. Now that is it for the utility tab. And the last bit we have is in science, where we will find the Hermes antenna. And if we deploy that baby, there we go. A gorgeous little antenna there, which is quite cool. I definitely enjoy that thing. It's got quite a good size to it, a good heft, so it will provide good communication. Very nice indeed. So that is all of the parts individually. Let's actually take a look at this thing on the runway, because of course the lovely mod makers have included for us a fully constructed version of the Hermes, uh, which is one of the reasons we're here in the space plane hangar, because if you try to load this craft on the launch pad, it just explodes. You have to launch this thing on the runway, or else it's just not gonna work. And this thing, oh god, it's huge. I can't even zoom out far enough. It's glorious. Let's go take a look at it to launch. And you can see all the parts put together in just the oh, beautiful, massive manner of this craft. And just think about some of the planes you've built and then compare that to the size of this. <laughs> it's just so huge. Remember, one of these little cupolas right here was the size of a standard Mark I command pod. This thing is freaking massive. And if we right click here to start rotation, the wheel properly rotates now rather than going completely haywire like it was in the space plane hangar. And all in all, just a very cool craft. Now again, I'm a little bit sad that we don't have, you know, custom IVAs, but it is good of them to at least repurpose some of the existing IVAs. Like we've got the shuttle IVA here for this one. And for the... Oh, we can't go to it. This is actually one of the issues I've had with this. Sometimes I can't load this command pod when I'm in this view. Once you launch the command pod and switch over to it, you should be fine, which we'll go look at that in a second, because I actually do have one of these in orbit around Duna. So let's actually go and have a look at that now. 
Because again, the whole purpose of this ship is to go to, well, Duna, our Mars analog in this game. So why not have one over it? There we go. We will go to fly that and see it in all of its glory in orbit around our red planet. Uh, and I want to go watch the movie again. There we go. This gigantic thing. I absolutely love this ship. Let's actually uh, accelerate time slightly to, uh, you know, get in better view of things. Actually be in the light instead of in the shadow of the planet. There we go. A little bit more. And beautiful. Let's turn on the SAS. And... Oh boy, I'm gonna try and rotate this thing, but it's it's huge. <laughs> oh yeah, we have RCS, I forgot. Let's do that. Oh, that's not going the direction I wanted it to. Okay, okay, where are the RCS ports on here? I should have looked at that earlier. Alright, we're turning a little bit. <laughs> Very slowly but surely, we are sort of moving this thing around, and it is just so massive and so wonderful. <laughs> Just so many wonderful, cool parts. I'm saying wonderful far too many times. But yeah, just imagine using these parts on other crafts of yours. Because again, it is stock alike, which is what I love about this mod. So you can mix and match with other existing parts. Or of course, just build the proper Hermes ship here like we have. And go and explore Duna. And I don't even know what I'm doing with the RCS. I'm just kind of randomly moving it around now. But you know what? It works. <laughs> Uh, it's just such a cool, fun little craft. And with lots and lots of parts, lots and lots of things that you can do with it, it is just so a very cool. And I, of course, love the rotating section. And once it is spinning, you can... Oh, yeah, I actually need to turn back on the UI. Reverse the rotation, so it's spinning now. And then we can reverse the rotation the other direction, which is quite cool. Now, of course, it is also a giant RSAS, so you can use it for torque, etc., which is quite nice. Let's actually fire our engine a little bit, our main engine on this thing. Not exactly the most beautiful or impressive of flames from it. It is just a tiny, tiny little port here. But nonetheless, it is a fairly decently powerful engine for its size uh, and in the sort of xenon gas variety, it is extraordinarily powerful. And oh my, I accidentally set off this engine up here too. Let's just throttle back up there. <laughs> that is the lander's engine as we're sort of floundering through space with these two engines fighting one another. Let's actually decouple this. So I decoupled the wrong thing. <laughs> I really should have checked the load or the uh, order of everything. I just decoupled the heat shield. So this thing will now will now completely die if I try and put it into orbit. Well, let's decouple it anyways and take a look at the interior of this baby. Let's actually get to the right keys. There we go. Excellent. That is not it. That is what we were looking for. And do I not have it crewed? I don't. So this is... <laughs> this is now just... Floating through space. That may also be why we couldn't look at the interior of the one on the runway. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I assure you, it is just reusing the Mark 1-2 cockpit. Hopefully in the future it will get its own proper one. But yeah, <laughs> we are floating to our now inevitable doom. But at least with a cool, beautiful view of the Hermes interplanetary spacecraft. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely suggest you should, uh, you can check out the link in the description as always. And if you build anything quite cool with these parts besides the Hermes, you know, make your own creation with this. I would love to see it. So tweet me, Facebook me, etc. And I hope you have enjoyed this video today. And of course that you do come back for the next when we will be looking at yet a another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching my friends, and as always, have a good one!